Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Since the time of Moses, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed. Now, a massive altar for the tenth red heifer sacrifice has been built in Israel, and there is a tremendous amount of speculation that it could happen soon. In September 2022, five red heifers were flown from the state of Texas to the land of Israel. Since that time, one of them has been disqualified, but the other four continue to be candidates for a red heifer sacrifice. As I discussed last week, there was a practice run of the purification ceremony in 2023. But an official ceremony must be conducted before the heifers get too old to be used for such a sacrifice. So will a red heifer be sacrificed in Israel in 2024? According to CBS News, a massive altar has already been constructed. I was absolutely floored when I first saw that. A red heifer sacrifice would need to happen on the Mount of Olives, and the land where the sacrifice would take place is owned by Rabbi Yitchak Mamo. The following is a report from CBS.com. According to those working on the project, the ceremony of the Red Heifer needs to be performed on the Mount of Olives and in a place that would have looked directly into where the temple stood. The land directly east of the Temple Mount, purchased 12 years ago, meets both of those standards. Rabbi Yitzhak Mamo owns that land on the Mount of Olives. Mamo is with Uvna Jerusalem, a group that preserves Israel's history and works to educate future generations. Concerning the specifics of the land, he told CBN News, it had to be exactly at the front of the place that the priest that made this ceremony can see the holy of the holy place. But the clock is ticking. If the heifers get too old, they will no longer qualify. During a recent public appearance, Mamo explained that, we are very close to the third year of these cows, as reported by charismanews.com. If there is any mathematicians here, so you can understand that we are very close to the third year of these cows, reveals Mamo which means that with the help of God, we will get permission from God and from the people to make the ceremony, and then we can be pure. Recently, there has been a lot of buzz that we could actually see a red heifer sacrifice very soon. Last month, All Israel News reported that the Temple Institute wants to conduct a sacrifice before Passover 2024. The following is a report from elisrael.com. As of now, four of the heifers remain blemish-free and, according to Temple Institute rabbis, they hope to carry out the ceremony before Passover 2024. This year, the Jewish people will celebrate Passover on April 22nd. That is about a month away. During a recent broadcast, Glenn Beck also discussed the possibility that a red heifer sacrifice could happen in the very near future. The following is an excerpt from a transcript of that broadcast. If you're going to rebuild the temple, you need to purify it. And purifying it according to the book of Numbers chapter 19, is a heifer, a red heifer ceremony, that results in the creation of ash and water mixture, and that cleanses the entire nation of Israel from ritual impurity. And then the ceremony requires some of the blood to be sprinkled at the front of the tabernacle. That later became the temple. It usually took place at the Mount of Olives, where they are planning on doing this again in the coming days. It is essential for all aspects of the temple and temple worship to take place. In addition, anyone participating in temple worship would be required to be sprinkled with the ash water. Beyond that, even without the presence of a physical temple, the ceremony would be, would allow the general population to be ritually cleansed and remove much of the religious prohibition for a Jewish presence on the Temple Mount. When are they planning on doing it? Well, they imported these red heifers before October 7th. We now know that Hamas said that this was going to this was part of the reason, because they're going to use the red heifers to purify the temple, which is desecration to them, purifying them, so they can then actually go up. And even if there's no temple, they can pray as if they were in the temple. They're going to do this Passover weekend, so Easter weekend. 
There has been a lot of speculation on social media that a red heifer sacrifice could potentially take place on March 29th because the Sabbath of the red heifer begins at sundown that evening. The following is a report from Hebcal.com. Shabbat Para for Hebrew Year 5784 begins at sundown on Friday, the 29th of March 2024, and ends at nightfall on Saturday, the 30th of March 2024. This corresponds to Parashat Zav. Shabbat Para, Sabbath of the Red Heifer, takes place on the Shabbat before Shabbat Hachodesh in preparation for Passover. Numbers 19 verse 1 to 22 describes the Para Aduma, Red Heifer, in the Jewish temple as part of the manor in which the Kohanim and the Jewish people purified themselves so that they would be ready, or pure, to sacrifice the Korban Pesach. I have not been able to find any confirmation that a sacrifice will happen on March 29th, so I don't know if we will see anything happen on that date or not. But I do believe that the Temple Institute fully intends to conduct a red heifer sacrifice at some point in 2024. And when that happens, there will be a new chapter in the Middle East. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As CBS News has reported, Hamas has actually admitted that the red heifers were one of the reasons why they attacked Israel on October 7th. When Hamas spokesman Abu Ubaidah began a speech marking the 100th day of the war in Gaza, one confounding yet eye-opening proclamation escaped the headlines. Listing the motives for the Palestinian militant group's October 7th attack in Israel, he accused Jews of bringing red cows to the Holy Land. The cows he was talking about are red heifers, which now graze at a secure, undisclosed location in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. Some Jews and Christians believe they're key to rebuilding the Jewish temple that once stood in Jerusalem, and to beckoning the Messiah. I don't know for sure what happened there. What is clear is, that Palestinian children and innocent people are being completely massacred there. So this is a really big deal. Let's keep watching and praying, because it appears that events in the Middle East are about to get very, very interesting. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.